summer supreme skincare battle. Actually, that's a cute title that you thought of today. Thank you. I thought that was kind of fun. I did. Well, you know what's going on this summer? What's going on? I'm so excited because there's just so many games and parties and I'm also doing swim team with the kids and it just brings me back to like being young and outside and I'm watching the kids like giggle and laugh and full of energy. And so I was like, I want to do something fun for us adults on the podcast. So I was thinking we're going to be kids and we're going to do yeah. the sun. It's not the skincare. It's the summer supreme skincare battle. Dun, dun, dun. That's nice. I'm glad that you're having games and fun. I'm just doing like bottles and nighttime feedings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching the summer go by from the inside and a haze and a daze. <laughs> You're watching the summer go by slow with my newborn. Yeah, I did have a nice walk today, though. Does it get people say the moms go, it gets better. There is a light into the tunnel. It literally does. It goes by so fast. I know that it doesn't seem like it, but it does go by fast. Well, this is what I did that was games and fun for me. I had childcare this morning, so I took a walk. And then I got in the shower and I'm like, I'm going to do my skincare this morning Mm. and get it done with and feel good about myself because I know that tonight I'm not going to be able to. So I, you know, washed my hair with Vegamore shampoo and conditioner, which I love. We really like that. And then I went and had into my microneedling, my droplet and my LED. And then I put some faux tan on. And you know what? What? And then it just shows you I'm a busy mom. But I was still able to, like, I knew the steps to take. Like, okay, let me make a difference in my skin. Let me keep my maintenance up. Because that just makes me feel good about myself. And now I'm, like, in a good mood. I know. It really does. And I'm having my smoothie right now. So I'm glad you had your smoothie. I completely bombed it today because I just got back. Penelope and I went to the Summer Movie Express because they're $2 movies. And because we go on Tuesdays and we're part of the Regal Crown Club, we got a big old popcorn and all that stuff. So I snarfed it up. Oh my God, that was the worst thing that you could eat. I know. Inflammatory oils. Ashley, you need to listen to podcast episode <laughs> about <laughs> inflammatory oils. No, ma'am. I know. 80-20. Do 80% awesome and 20%, you know, do what you need to do. Exactly. So for the rest of the day, I'm going to eat super healthy. So when I came home, you'll be happy to know I ate sliced cucumbers and red peppers. Okay. Yeah. You got back with it. And I'm right now as we're recording, I've got a big cup of matcha, a green tea matcha. Yeah. Good. So okay. I'm aware. You're, I'm aware. Yeah. I'm not, but I wanted to have fun. We were in the movies. We watched the, the Rise of the Gru, and there are all these kids laughing, and they play all these ads for the popcorn, and I just don't want to miss out. Listen, I'm not going to tell you I didn't eat a slice of cheesecake this weekend at your uh, party, so your barbecue. Right. We are doing something really fun, which I'm excited about, and this kind of ties into small changes and 80-20, like... You can do small changes in your daily life that make a big difference overall. And that's removing a lot of toxins in your house and in your skincare, just overall. And if you just do one healthy swap a week. So we're going to just try this through the end of the year and see how it goes. So the first, do you want to, Ashley, you're going to do the swap because I'm going to do the swap next week. What's your swap? Okay, this is a really good one. So instead of putting aluminum foil on your pans or just going straight to the pan, get some unbleached parchment paper and use that instead. It's so much healthier and it also saves a mess. So super easy, super simple. That's my tip. But unbleached because they usually you just get the white ones. Right. So it's going to look like a tan color. If you have a toaster oven, which I do, they even make parchment paper that's in a circle pre-cut. I use those and I just boop, put in the toaster oven. And so I can put like heat up my sandwich or whatever. That's awesome. Now that's a good tip right there. Yeah. Why'd you say circle? My toaster oven is not in a circle. It just, there. I get it off Amazon. It's meant for the air fryer, oh. <laughs> oh. but they come in circles. I don't have to cut it with scissors. I can just get the circle pre-cut, put it on the toaster oven. My sandwich fits on it. I would just think it would be a square, not a circle. That's all. If they have squares, that's awesome. They probably do. But they don't. So they only have it in a circle. Okay. Yes. I just use those from my air fryer and I use them for my toaster and I, it's great. So anyway. Cool. That's your healthy swap. Very easy to do. I didn't know about that tip. 
Yeah. And it's only a few bucks. So everybody can do that healthy swap. And then I'll go over one for next week as well. Let the summer games begin with our first ever. Oh, is this the thing, Ashley? Summer Supreme Skincare Battle. I think it's going to be a thing. It is, huh? I like it. I'm going to make it a, I'm going to make it a thing. This is our first summer Supreme skincare battle. Yep. So like next year, it'll be the second Supreme skincare battle. That's right. It's, we're going to call it our annual. So let the best product win. Boom, boom, boom. That's kind of cool though. Here's how it's going to go. All right. We're going to have three categories. Categories are going to be moisturizer, sunscreens, and beauty devices. And we're going to have different products battle in the categories. And then we're going to announce the winner. All right. Let's get it. All right. So let's begin. First up is the best beauty device category. It's LED lights versus Lima Ooh. laser cold therapy device. That's a hard one. All right, Lindsay, you're up. That's a real, okay. So let's talk about. LED light, light therapy, red light therapy, studies have been done where it can promote hair growth. Studies have shown when low levels of red light are exposed to scalp, hair follicles will grow. I've seen them before and after y'all and it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Now, <clears throat> LED is scattered light where the laser is a focused beam of light. So for example, if you were using the Lima device, which is the cold laser to make your hair grow, that might not be a good idea because the laser is so powerful, it could damage your hair follicles. So for hair growth, you want steady low levels of red lights using an LED light device. You could do 20 minutes, three times a week. Don't overdo it and think it, that, you know, more, oh, I'm going to have more time, more time because too much can damage your follicles. So a um, couple of things. I've seen the hair caps, which you, sh you showed me those like five years ago, even through, I'd be like, that looks like such a joke. Remember, like you see those hair growth caps and people oh, are yeah. like, that looks so cheesy. Right. Well, it's actually not like they, it does help grow the hair and they're getting a lot more like they still need to make them cuter. Come on. They need to just like jazz those up. Let's do a hot pink one. I agree. They're just ugly. Yeah. Let's get a cute, cute growth hat. And anyway, so for hair growth, this is a win for LED light. Ding, 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 ding. ding, ding. Is that the winner? That's the winner. <laughs> now for skin, looking at the current body LED light uses two clinically proven wave lights, Red and near infrared to reduce wrinkles by 35% in just four weeks. 95% of users said their skin tone, texture, and firmness improved after use. Flexible. I like it because it has like this flexible silicone structure. So light penetrates every area of the face. I used. And it's comfortable too, right? It's very comfortable. Used for 10 minutes, five days a week as part of your skincare routine. I do not use mine five days a week. I probably used mine at this point, probably three. And actually, okay. um, just like I said in this podcast, um, when we started, I used mine this morning. I got out of the shower. I did my micro needle. Then I put my collagen, um, droplet device on. That's the one thing that I put on my skin before my LED light. That's the only thing. So I don't put anything else on my skin. The droplet device is a micro fusion. So it's not interfering with the light. So I don't have um, a mask on or anything like that because I want the light to penetrate my face. So then I put it on my skin and I have the neck piece too that I like and boom, done. 10 minutes. You can walk around with it. It's awesome. I really like it. Love it. All right. Mine is the Lima laser for your skin. And this is the one that Lindsay and I are sharing right now. I'm taking it. I'm using it for our test results. So I haven't used it yet. This is going to be with you. Yeah. Lindsay has not used it. It's just me right now. And we decided for me to use it because Lindsay was having her baby and she couldn't, you know, use it. do that during childcare, I mean, during afterbirth, blah, blah, you get it. Anyways, the power of the laser is able to go deeper inside of your skin than the LED lights. The LED lights are able to go to the epidermis layer where the Lima laser can go. It goes past the epidermis, past the dermis to the fat and then to the muscle layers. And it tells the skin cells to regenerate, repair and recharge. It also tells the skin cells to produce more protein to fight off the damage from our environment. So think about pollution. If you smoke or if you're just around to smoking people, whatever, a bad diet, 
This way you'll have more collagen and elastin. Also use the layer laser for sagging skin, wrinkles, and improving skin tone. You can use every day where the skin needs improvement. So you can use it on your face, your neck, your chest, other areas if you have, you know, things that you want to improve and also your hands. It's also really, really fantastic for acne scars. I mean, that's great. If you look at their site, holy cow, because I know some of you have scars that you're self-conscious about or you just, you know, you're just tired of looking at them. Like pitted scars. I saw it. Yes, Building the collagen is incredible. It is really incredible. Yes, it's pricey, but you're getting professional results at home and they're going to last you 10 years. I have to say from personal experience, I can vouch for this laser. I'm excited for Lindsay to try it. I absolutely love it. It has lifted my entire face. I use it every single day. And the problem, there's only one complaint I have with the Lima laser. I wish it were larger. Well, I was going to guess it, but you just said it. Yeah, I wish it were larger. That's it. Um, Because it is small, but I understand it's the first at-home professional laser. I mean, this is breaking through technology, groundbreaking. So, but that small circle is so powerful. So it's pretty incredible. Well, it's been around. It's groundbreaking in the sense that now you can get it at home where before you'd, have, That's to, what I mean. you'd have to go every single day to a, usually a doctor's office for that. Let me ask you this question, Ashley. So now that you've used the laser for, what did you say? Is it three or four months? I didn't say the number of weeks. No, it's not weeks. It's months. Because my Mary Engelbright calendar is downstairs. So I don't remember how long. Do you know how long I've been using it for? I think it's been three months. So at this point, the laser, and don't quote me on this, it's on our, I think it's in our shop, my store. The laser's about $2,500. Would you, knowing, seeing the results that you have now, honestly, would you pay that? Yes. You would. Okay. I was just curious. I checked in my bathroom mirror from the side point of view. Yeah. And when I first started using it, I was like, oh my gosh, like the inside Ashley doesn't match the outside Ashley. It was just falling down and drooping. And this has lifted my entire face, including the lids above my eyes, like around the, my eyebrows. That part was starting to go down, my jowls, everything. And it's done places where I wasn't even thinking about where I held the laser on, like underneath my eyes to lift that area and to improve the thickness underneath my eyes. So it has definitely lived up to what it said it would do. This is my one thing I have to say. Mm-hmm. I want it now. Like you need to give it back. Oh, I know. I was like this. Get ready to give it back. And so um, Ellison, still, <laughs> Ellison, well, I'll be going over to Lindsay's house every day. Mommy needs to lift her face up now. Okay. <laughs> well, I was looking at you and I'm like, man, your skin looks really good. Like all the stuff that you did this morning. Well, dang, I just, yeah, I went to town. <laughs> skin town. It looks great. So the winner for the hair growth is going to be the LED lights. For sure, yeah. The winner for anti-aging skin is going to be the Lima laser, okay? But I will say the, yes, okay, that is the winner, but we do love LED too. Like, I mean, I use it today. Oh, awesome. heck yeah, I use my LED lights today on my stomach. So, because I'm trying to tighten up that skin. Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. Okay, before we get, I just have to share this. Before we get to the next battle, I have to tell you about my latest sandal obsession. So, I went to the store to try on all the elevated sandals. Like, I know this has nothing to do with it, but it's with summer. Okay. It goes along with summer fun. And I just did something fun for myself. I literally never go to the mall because it's summertime. We actually had time to go to the mall and it was just fun. So I dragged my kids into the shoe store and because I wanted to look at all the elevated in the platform, platform sandals. And I wanted some that were not so high where I would trip over, but some that were comfortable and I ended up buying the classic crush sandals and I love them by Crocs right classic crush sandals by Crocs and I got um I got a pair and I love them and I want to before the summer ends I want to get maybe one or two more pairs because you know how they change styles 
every year. Oh, do they? And I don't want, yeah, they'll change styles and it won't be like, or they'll like limited edition, limited, or they'll just change styles. Like I said, three times they change styles. Um, and so I want to get some before they run out. Those are comfortable. I can vouch for those because I wore those over the weekend at Ashley's house. Um, those are your inside shoes. No, I'm just keeping on my inside shoes right now because this is so funny because I'm always inside the house and I don't go outside too much. And so I want to wear them as much as possible. So I'm making them my inside shoes right now. And every time I put them on, I'm not kidding. I'm such a dork. I smile. I feel pretty. They're just fun. Oh, yeah. I saw them. I had them on. I was just walking all over the house. We have indoor shoes and outdoor shoes because... Wearing your outdoor shoes inside is nasty. <laughs> it is nasty. That should be a swap. I Ooh. question people who do that. I'm like, what are you like? What else are you doing in here? No, you have to think about it. You're walking around in your shoes. Think about it. I just went to the mall. Okay. I walked in the public bathroom. I walked. I mean, just think about that. And then you're bringing. Oh, my gosh. People walk in the yard where dogs go to the bathroom and then there's, there's like pollen and allergy stuff. It's like, so, and you're bringing, well, I think public bathrooms and then you're walking all around your house in that. So gross. No, that's my pet peeve. If you ever come to my house, take your shoes off. Thank you. Flipping shoes off. Yeah. Take your shoes off. I can't stand it. Rude. You know what? I can't stand. I know you see my sign that says take your shoes off. And then, I mean, there's this awkward moment. Well, I know you see me and my bare feet yeah. and you're still coming in there walking with my shoes. You know what you're doing, right? It's this fine line of like, you feel like odd telling that person to take their shoes off. but And then you're making me be, making me feel put in a position like, hey, could you please take your shoes off? And making me feel like the weirdo doing that. Yeah. Or just like I'm being in, making you in an imposition and I'm like, you know, come on now. But are we, I'm just curious, is I'm, I wish this is the part of the podcast where I wish we were filming in front of a live audience because this is where I would go to the audience. Oh. Are we, are we the only ones that feel this way or is, or are y'all like, yes, yes. Or you're thinking, no, y'all are extra. Let me tell you what people do that try to get past it. <laughs> this is what I noticed. I'm so detailed. Um, they'll come in the door and they'll have something in their hands, like a gift or casserole or something they need to bring into another room. So they walk their shoes through all the way to the kitchen to put down their stuff versus saying, let me take my shoes off. Can you help me? You know? And I'm like, that defeats the purpose. It drives me bananas. It does. Now my house is all gross. All right. So back to second battle. Sorry, we go on a tangent. We get really excited. <laughs> Best facial sunscreens. Ooh, well, it's summertime, so of course we are wearing facial sunscreens, but this should be all year long anyway. We are focusing on the best ingredients, the best glow, the best coverage, and price consideration. So we did actually a podcast on summer sunscreens protection. I can't remember which number that is, but it's not too it's not too far back. Ashley, could you look that up real quick? Why just to let the listeners know reading this? And then we talked about why it's important in our favorite products. So we narrowed down the list to compete in this battle. Ashley has her favorites and I have some of mine. We're going to talk about the both and see what the winners are. You'll have to look it up while I talk about the first one because I can't find it. Okay. So the first one is Sun Plus. I reach for this one so Often, I just love it. I love the way it feels and I love the way it goes on. It literally doesn't even feel like a sunscreen. It feels like a moisturizing and nourishing lotion. Do you have that in, by the way, people just want to, you know, look at these quickly. We have, do you have this in our podcast? Yeah, I have it in the podcast show notes. It's in the show notes. And also if you go to lindsayholder.com and go to the shop skincare, if you go down, um, just click on them. It'll say the actual podcast episode. And then everything that we talked about is right there. So you don't have to search for it everywhere. Yeah. Or you can literally look in the show notes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Because it's easier to look in the show notes, but whatever. Yeah. Whatever, Ashley, blah, blah, blah. And whatever. My daughter actually said the other day, she goes, you say blah, blah, blah a lot, mommy. God, blah, 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 whatever. Your shirt that we need to do is it says blah, 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 and whatever. I would wear that shirt every single day. I want that shirt. That is 
Totally, Ashley. By the way, it's one episode 109, Best Sunscreen 2023, Esthetician Approved, and Toxic Ones to Avoid. Bam. There you go. Thank you. All right. So the Sun Plus, I like it because it's moisturizing, but it's protecting my skin at the same time. I'm also going to put on your shirt, all right, and so. So if I'm just going to go out and about, and I'm not like really seeing anybody, so I don't want, I don't need a tinted moisturizer, but I just want to have my skin protected and moisturized and just have it feel good naked. This is the one I always reach for. So that's the one that like Sun Plus. Yes, Sun Plus. So for example, if I'm hanging out at the house all day, but I'm also taking my dog for a walk or I'm just going to go for a walk or whatever, that's the one that I love. I love it. Love it. Love it. You want sunscreen even inside the house Mm -hmm. because of the blue light and sun coming in. So just FYI. Yes. So that's the one that I would use and I do use it. And when I run out, I will be buying it again. Just put it in your routine as you go. Like just that, just make it like sunscreen is a step in my skincare routine. Just see it as that. Okay. I like that idea. Do you want to become more confident in your appearance through daily practices? Like so many women, myself and Ashley have suffered through our battles with our aging skin. Oh my goodness. (laughs) And all that comes with it. I'm 46 as of recording this and Ashley is 48. So we were curious as to why so many other women bought so many skincare products, services, yet they were just not feeling good about their appearance. We listened, more and more women were feeling bad about themselves. So this led Ash and I to explore these thoughts deeper at a time when more and more women want to take care of their skin at home. I know I do. We began our anti-aging skincare blog and this podcast while continuing to operate as a spa owner, as a working esthetician. Until up to recently, Ashley and I wanted to make our unique skincare approach accessible to anyone who wanted to learn while keeping it affordable and inclusive. So it's so exciting. So what began as a dream over a decade with a small room and private clients turned into a locally respected spa with a team of dedicated estheticians. So for those who don't know, I just sold my spa just a few months ago, and now I am focused on this online skincare community with you guys. Ash and I are now turning this anti-aging skincare program into an online service that will help thousands of women all over the world called La Pre Beauty. You can find it at lindsayholder.com. So just an example, one of our members said, as a beginner with at-home skincare routines and someone who is used to going to a dermatologist or a esthetician when I have a skin problem, I was doubtful about seeing results. However, La Pre Beauty has changed my approach, my skin health, and I am already seeing results in my skin. Lindsay and Ashley's philosophy has completely transformed my mindset around skincare. Oh my goodness, that just warms my skincare heart. (laughs) Thank you so much. That is why we do this online skincare membership to hear from our members just like that. Our skincare community provides a practical, easy approach to getting great skin and just, you know, feeling good about it through our three core principles. One, we are skin focused, which is the daily practice led by me, a licensed esthetician that builds builds skin health, which promotes elasticity, lessens your wrinkles, and renews your appearance in as little as 10 minutes a day. We have ingredient information, not overload, inside our online skincare community. This is skincare ingredients explained simply to reduce confusion and empower your product knowledge. We even have an exclusive product knowledge database for you to be a part of. And then we want to achieve confidence in your skin. So it's the practice of intertwining goals, small daily habits to take care of yourself and achieve overall happiness and self-love, which is so important. So join us today. We cannot wait to have you inside our community at lindsayholder.com and get access to specialized skincare videos for all skin types made by myself. They are instructed by me. My name is Lindsay. I'm a master esthetician with over 13 years of experience, and I will take you along with me with videos and along with weekly skincare ingredients explained simply to reduce confusion and expand your skin product knowledge. Again, sign up at lindsayholder.com. That's L-I-N-D-S-E-Y H-O-L-D-E r.com lindsayholder.com it takes less than 30 seconds and then you're in so fast so easy we cannot wait to have you a part of our skincare community 
and myself, my name is Lindsay and Ashley look forward to talking to you about your skincare journey and your needs inside the community. See you there, lindsayholder.com. The next one is a glow stick. The reason why I like this one is it's actually just a game changer for my children. I really love this to use for my kids. That's the one that I use. And it's the reason why is because it's so quick and it's easy to glide on before a soccer practice or before they're heading out to play or before they're going to swim in the pool. Just for their face, not for their body. And it's so easy to handle that the kids can actually apply it to themselves. And it's just for the face and the neck. It, you can also use it for your hands, but it's too small for your entire body. And we just ran out, so I just bought two more. So that's my feel for the glow stick. And you use it use it for a swim team on their faces? I just, Lindsay, maybe you weren't listening, but they were, so I'm not going to repeat it. I just explained every single thing that <laughs> okay, I used it, so I'm not going to repeat it. You zoned out, but they were not. They were listening. I didn't zone out. You totally zoned out because you just asked me that question. I th- Actually, I'll be honest. I was taking um, a sip of my strawberry banana smoothie. Yeah, you zoned out. You completely zoned out. <laughs> it wasn't zoned out. I refocused on. I was like, mm, this smoothie's good. <laughs> uh huh. So that's called zoning out. Heads up. All right, you're up for the next one. Or is it just called? You know what I wish I could do? I could wish I could like, hey, can I talk to you off air for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> I got some things I need to tell you, but I know we're rolling, but it's like, ha, I got some things to say right now. Sisters, if you don't know everybody, we are sisters. This is the difference between you and me, Ashley. Okay, I'll just say it on air. You want to go down this list so fast. You're like, okay, next, next, next. And I'm like a conversation person. So I'm like, okay, well, let's talk about the glow stick. And you're like, Lindsay, you got next. You're up. You're up. <laughs> and I'm chill. I'm having my smoothie. I'm not in a rush. Let's talk about what's going on. Could you please, if you're listening out there, I'm going to say help. Could you please, please help me help. and <laughs> let us know. We have a membership. It's called La Pre Beauty. You can oh, there's join it and then send us a message. We will welcome you. We'll say, hey. You know, it's Ashton Lindsay. We'll and send we'll you a say, little message. Who's, and then we're going to write a like for you to, you even have to ask for that. Say, by the way, I like it when Ashley goes towards the goals or say, hey, I like it when Lindsay does the conversations. I'm curious. And if you like it with the conversation, I'll listen. But I'm just curious. There's different personalities in this world. So some people are going to be like, I don't want to hear Lindsay yap all the time. Oh my gosh. And then I will like send you a Starbucks gift card. <laughs> Just saying, sweeten that pot a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'll send you some skincare. Which one do you want to have? <laughs> Stop it. Let's do this sister supreme uh, battle. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're, we're turning this into. Hey, which one do you like better? Don't try to bump one up on an anesthetician. I got a nice stash. <laughs> okay, the next one on the list is Naked Sundays. I think we've like talked several episodes that we just love this brand a lot. Oh, I saw them on the Today Show. Did I tell you that? Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Okay. So I thought that was like, oh my gosh, that's kind of cool. They're an Australian brand, but you, it is thicker. So you can use it as a moisturizer and SPF. You, it has a mild tint, so you can wear it by yourself without makeup. That's what I do if out and about. I think that it, to me, it'd be a little too heavy if you wanted to wear makeup on. Oh, yeah. If you want to make it a little bit more like creamy on your skin, it, since it's thick, just add a little bit of moisturizer just to get that consistency so it'll just spread like super easy. And it gives you a nice, it really does give you a nice glow. They have a serum that's nice too. I will say, and I'm just going to add on a little bit of this. When I wear the Naked Sundays, every single time I've repeated myself in the past, I'm just going to say it again, I get compliments on my skin. I know. I know. Everybody says your your skin looks so beautiful it, and so glowy. It does. That So good job to this company. It really does work. But that's the goal. I mean, it really does look pretty and glowy. Right. Yes, that's the goal. Um, the next one is Our Self Mineral. I really like it. It's got an illuminating effect. It goes on very smooth and light without a white cast. It protects my skin from the sun, of course, because it's a mineral sunscreen. It does soften my skin and it gives it like a slight smoother texture. I would buy this one again 
And one of the reasons why, again, I like it is because it doesn't have a tint to it. So I like to have sunscreens that when I'm around the house, I'm not putting on a tint. I just like it to be just as natural as possible. So that's my take on the our self mineral. Okay. When the, am I allowed to add to this list? Yes, you are. Yes. Okay. So one brand that I've used a lot, and this almost needs to be in two separate categories. It needs to be tinted SPF and then non-tinted because when you say if you're only going to purchase one, well, sometimes I need a tint, sometimes I need a non-tint. So we'll have to talk about what's our favorite non-tinted one. Okay. That's fair. That's fine. But I've used Glow Skin Beauty for years. And I just love their tinted moisturizer, the SPF. It's really. But we're talking about the R-Self Mineral, which is not tinted. It's untinted. Right. So I'm adding a tinted one because Naked Sundays has a tint. So it needs a battle against another tint. Oh, I see what you're saying. So I'm adding Glow Skin Beauty to battle with. I just love that one. I've used it for years. That is a good one. And we both use the light or the fair one. Oh, I don't use fair. I definitely use light. Fair is super fair. Okay, yeah. so we use the light. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll ask you for the non-tinted. So for the winner, which non-tinted one are you? Okay, the non-tinted one, I would go for Sun Plus. And then the tinted one, I would go for Naked Sundays. Okay. Non-tinted for me. Cause you, oh, you know what? I would do the glow stick uh-huh. because I like to just. Because you're the one that introduced me to the glow stick. Yeah. And then I started borrowing your glow stick. And then I went from borrowing your glow stick to doing it. And you're like, you need to put this on your kids, Ashley. And that's how it transferred to my kids. So you're the one that. You know me better than myself. Yeah. So I would do the glow stick and I still loved it because I'm like, oh, boom, done. I don't have to get my hands on it. Yeah. That's why I like it. I love taking it to the beach. You're right. You've been using that one for like five, yeah. five plus years. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That is a tough one. I super love, I do like Naked Sunday. So I have to answer it like this. Okay. If I want a super glowy look, Naked Sundays for sure. Okay. Sometimes I don't want too much of a glow. Mm. Glow Skin Beauty. Got so it. So I have it almost as a tie. I don't know if we're allowed to do that. Yeah, we can tie. So that's my answer. I like that answer. That's fair. That's a fair answer. Okay, cool. All right. This is our last battle. Wow, that went fast. The last battle is the best summer moisturizers. Oh my gosh. I love, my skin's dry, so I love moisturizers. And I've noticed that as the older I've gotten, my skin has changed it to a more dry one. So our competitors are Go Pure Beauty Glycopeptide Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer, One Skin Facial Moisturizer, Then I Met You Renewing Rich Beauty Cream, and then Bloom Effects Royal Tulip Moisturizing Nectar. So those are four outstanding products. All right, so the first one is the Go Pure Beauty Glycopeptide Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer. I love it because it glides on nicely. It has great coverage. It's very hydrating. I woke up with a definite feeling that my skin was softer. It has a non-greasy feel, and I used it over my face, neck, chest, and hands. And the thing about it is a friend of mine came over to just try some of my beauty products, and I gave her the Go Pure Beauty one just to put on her face. And she goes, ooh, that feels good. I, I really like that moisturizer. Mm-hmm. It goes on really nice. I mean, I will say it's fun to even apply. It smells good too. Yeah. So that one is my take on that one. One Skin Facial Moisturizer. I think that is just, man, that's just like a category in itself. You get, That's just a must need as your first step in your skincare. It's really light. It dries after like a minute. We vouch for their products 100%. The results are incredible. I feel that my skin and yours, Ashley, has definitely made a change with this moisturizer. I think it looks great because of this moisturizer that we have. It's um, not really, quote, I mean, it's a moisturizer, but they refer to it as a skin supplement. Okay. Oh, I like that. Okay. That's what they refer to it, which is kind of, Yeah, which is kind of neat. Well, I don't know what you do, but I use it both morning and night. Do you use it both morning and night? You know what? Maybe we, maybe it's not even fair. So how about this? We're going to take, because you know what? You're right. I don't think it's fair. Yeah. I use that moisturizer. And then what I do is all the other ones, I put it on top because I need extra hydration. So this one's going to be 
a winner, One Skin Extra. It's a must have. So the one skin facial moisturizer, that's a must have. So then the other must ones have. are what you put on after the one skin. By the way, if you go to lindsayholder.com, there is a page that we have just for one skin. We are partnering with them. We didn't add this in here just because of that. We added it here because we, I mean, we truly love it that much. I'm not going to say this just to, no, well, what, you know, say it. Yeah. It will change your skin. Hyperpigmentation, wrinkles lift collagen elasticity it's a game changer okay so the next one is then i met you renewing rich beauty cream oh i love it it's dense it's soft it's easily absorbed it's it's thicker i love putting this on at night when i really need my skin hydrated it's like it's it quenches my skin's thirst it is a nourishing <laughs> treatment cream and my yeah. skin feels so good after it. I love it. They have a really good cleanser too. I like their balm. It's like a that um, orange balm. Yes. I reach for it in my shower. It's the living cleanser. And I love how they call it the living cleanser. It's nice to use. It really melts your makeup off really nice. Or you're, you know, if you have tinted moisturizer and sunscreen, it does a really good job. I do like that one. The next one up is a bubble. It's by brand name Bubble, and it's a Level Up Balancing Moisturizer. This one is great for those that have acneic skin. I actually had another friend. See, when Lindsay's gone, I have friends come over. Um, I had another friend come over because I let her use the my LED lights because she what do you mean when I'm gone? What does that mean? Well, like you're with Ellison all the time. So you're not around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when you were pregnant, we were always together. But now that you have Ellison, I have, you know, friends come over and like, I just have them test stuff or I'll also help them. So anyway, so one of my friends has um, bad acne. And so I had her do the LED lights on her face and on her chest because she had some acne, like really like, you know, some big acne flare ups. Every time you say this, I'm like, which friend? Who are we talking about? But I know we can't put it on air, but. Well, I'm not going to say it on air. I know, but like, this is why I want our little side combo. Well, Write it in the chat. <laughs> uh -huh. Anyway, so I had her come over and then afterwards, because the LED, you know, sometimes it can dry it out. So your skin feels a little tight. So I gave her the bubble level up balancing moisturizer. And it also helps to repair blue light damage as well as heal and restore the moisture. It's lightweight. It goes on smooth. Also, the price is fantastic. It's $16 for a one-time purchase. And if you're on a subscription, you get it for $13.60. Wow, that is a pretty good. So it's, it's a really good price. But anyways, my friend, again, I didn't say, I like to do this. I don't say a word. Yeah. I just give it to them. Yeah. And I was like, here, put this on after she goes, and then like five minutes later, you know, because we have kids around and stuff. She's like, what is it? Hey, I really like that moisturizer. It felt really good on my skin. And she's got a different type of skin than my other friend. She was acneic. So I did it specifically for her. So it's cool when I'm like, yeah, I thought you'd like that product. <laughs> and again, I'm not selling it. I'm just letting, I'm just wanting to see, hey, do you know, do you like it? And also I love helping my friends and people that with their skin, it makes, it's like my little special thing that I can do to help somebody out. So it makes me feel good too. We are going to do, so Bubble sent us a whole, it's such a cute name. First of all, it's a cute name, Bubble, who doesn't want their skin name. It is cute. Skincare name, Bubble. And they also sent us um, their whole product line, which was uh, this huge box I got, which is awesome. And their products are super cute, but we are going to be doing product videos inside our skincare community. So if you go to lindsayholder.com, that is on our, um, it's coming up soon. And we're going to go over the entire bubble line, what we like, what our favorites are. It's almost like the skincare battle inside the community. <laughs> You're going to see what we like. And, and Ash is going to have her take. We're going to hold it up and I'm going to have my take. So we're really excited to start offering this inside lindsayholder.com. Just really just takes like literally 30 seconds to join. Just go to lindsayholder.com and 
you'll see, we'll say join on the homepage, join our um, community, sign up with your username, like your email and usernames you can easily access inside. And you can have a chance to speak with us, get all the videos of me applying skincare. Ashley has skin school in there. You can chat with us and other community members as well. It's just something that we're super passionate about. So I just wanted to shout that out because I know that Bubble is going to be in there soon. Mine. Okay. So last one, this one um, is the, we've talked about this before, the Royal Tulip Jelly. Is that... That's by Bloom Effects, right, Ashley? Yes. Okay, by Bloom Effects. And I will say it's thick and it's a little bit of a spicy jelly is what it's like. Yes. I call it my spicy jelly. It's not too spicy. It's just like right when you put it on and then it stops. But it's an occlusive, so you want to put that on as your last step. This stuff is such a creative and fun product to use. I talked about it before. I love the little tulip spatula yeah. that comes with it. <laughs> and it's made from tulips, which I think is really cool too. And it's Dutch tulips, I believe. I believe that's where it is from. I smile when I put it on. I'm like, I'm going for my royal tulip jelly. Oh, yeah. It's rich in antioxidants, natural moisturizing factors, amino acids, produces softer, smoothing, glowing, and hydrated skin. And that is true. I wake up when I... After I use this, so I think of this one almost as an overnight mask because it's a little bit thicker. It just feels, now it is a little sticky too. So just keep that in mind. But to me, it's more like a mask situation, but my skin feels amazing the next day. Do I need to use it all the time? No. So if we're like going to battle this, I'm not probably really fun to battle because I'm like, well, and I know it depends. <laughs> but I would say for me, if I need an overnight thicker moisturizer, I'm going to go for the Royal Tulip Jelly. That's going to be the one. If I need, obviously, once again, we're putting that in the same category. If I want a really nice smooth moisturizer, I really like the Glycopeptide Anti-Moisturizer. That one... Man, that feels nice on my skin every time I use it when I wake up. That's the way I'm going to answer that. What do you think? Okay. So for me, when I need that, I'm going to say the one that I reach for the most is the Then I Met You Renewing Rich Beauty Cream. For my skin, it's, it's the one that I reach for the most because it's, I don't know, it, I just I just reach for it the most. That's my favorite. However, I love the Go Pure Beauty Glyco Anti Wrinkle Moisturizer because that one's lighter than the Renewing Rich Beauty Cream. So my skin right now needs a thicker one. The Royal Tulip Jelly, I tend to say that for the winter time because it's spicy and then it's an extra thick. So, or I'll do it like once every two weeks. But the one, I would think that you would need a lighter one right now. I you see that's it's my skin. It's it's what you know how you always say, Lindsay. Your skin speaks to your your skin's talking to you. And so for for right now, my skin is um it's just going through a dry phase right now. Oh, with your hormones too. And I am going through. I was about to say I am going through hormonal changes. Yeah. And I am working on getting those balanced. So that's probably the reason. Hundred percent. If it were my normal in the past, I would be using more the Go Pure Beauty one because it is the summertime. I would want it to be lighter. And then the Royal Tulip Jelly. I like to think of that as my dessert. It's just my special sweet treat. It is a sweet treat. It is like a dessert for your skin. So it's kind of like I don't even want to use it every day because I'm like, oh, this is my really special one. We just wrote your we just wrote your tagline, um, Bloom Effects. Royal Tulip Jelly, a dessert for your skin. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. It is, but it's true. Your special treat. I love it. It is a special treat and I love it. It's so special. I brought mom a big jar for um, Mother's Day and she... Oh yeah, she loved it. Yeah, so it's just fun. And I bought her the One Skin Eye Cream. So I always buy mom one uh, skincare for every holiday, birthday, celebration, Mother's Day, everything. Because that's, that's what she needs. That's a great idea. I'm going to do that too. That's smart. So then she'll have a stash. Yeah. Well, let's don't get the same thing. Yeah. Whatever. I do it. I do it every time. Well, we always give her skincare though. So we always give her skincare. Sure. 
Anyways, all the products are in the show notes. I hope this was super fun. Was hope- good thinking. I mean, it's fun. Thank you. And I have to say, I was brainstorming about it, and I want to give credit to Reeves out there. If you are listening, we were, he was getting so excited. Tell, um, people don't know who Reeves is. Reeves is my son. My nephew. And I was talking, Aunt Lizzie's nephew, and we were talking. I was telling him about my podcast, how I love skin. And Reeves was like, oh, mommy, you should do a skincare battle. And I said, oh my gosh, I'm totally doing that because as I said before, it's summertime. Everybody's having fun with games. And so he was so tickled to know that I was going to use one of his ideas. He's a little smart thing for my podcast. This was fun. We should do it again. He has, he's so creative. He's got great ideas. So I'm going to go back and say, all right, what should I do next time? (laughs) I know he sure does. So thank you, Reeves. Yeah. Thank you, Reeves. Thank you for joining us. We will see you next week. Oh, tune in next week to find out what is the healthy swap that we're going to do. We're going to do one a week. So what is it for next week? I don't know. Tune in next week, next Tuesday, and you'll find out. All right. Until next time.